say it does not really matter what time day night or evening that you listen to the on guard podcast daily devotions this is your host which you know as randy aka lz but it is not about me it is about god the one we love the one we serve and the one we give our lives and hearts to anyways um with that being said happy first october um it's a new month and that won't change anything unless you change okay because i know people say oh it's a new month it's a new day yada 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 things will change no nothing changes unless you change okay keep that in mind in all that you do heavenly father we come to you thanking you for another day for another month um for our lives the fact that we are alive to see another day a chance to repent a chance to be better to better ourselves but oh lord we just want to praise you we want to honor you we want to give you all the glory because you deserve it all, Father. Not because of what you've done for us, but because of who you are. You are majesty. You are greatness. You embody the word God. Because there are plenty of gods in this world, but you embody the word God. You are such an amazing God that <laughs> people call you God as if it's your name. That's how great you are, oh Lord. And we love you. May whatever we speak today give you nothing but love, glory, and honor. And anything good, oh Lord. Just to honor you. Anyways, with that being said, let us read from Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. Now, understand something, people. This scripture got me. (laughs) Okay, it rebuked me. It says, the Lord says, These people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is based on merely human rules they have been taught. Wow. Human rules they have been taught. Their worship of me is based on merely human rules they have been taught. It made me question my whole faith, in fact. Sure, scripture's too deep and too personal, and I think I'm going to spend all day trying to reflect on it so that I can change whatever that isn't of God, honestly, that I have been taught that I may not be aware of. Okay, I'm just questioning everything about myself regarding my, my Christian walk with God. Okay, um, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28 to 29, it says, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reference and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. A song that I love is, All consuming fire, you're our heart's desire. Oh, I love that song, man. In fact, I'm going to listen to it after this devotion one more scripture says um psalm uh chapter 86 verse 9 to 10 it says all the nations you have made will come and worship before you lord they will bring glory to your name for you are great and do marvelous deeds you alone are god you alone are god oh god and we worship you we honor you we give you all the glory because of who you are not because of what you've done we love you Thank mm-hmm. you.